This will happen a lot this year, and today is no exception. Yep, political big wigs from Washington right here in our battleground state. Today, Seth Kaplan was with Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. Seth. Valerie and Alicia Governor Josh Shapiro and the top transportation leader in all of America in Steelton, touting what has become Shapiro's unofficial slogan. You know that attitude I talk about every day, that chip on our shoulder we have here in Pennsylvania, the way we're governed by three letters, GSD, we focus on getting stuff done. Earlier, U.S. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg touring the Cleveland Cliff Steel Mill, making a lot of the railroad tracks that get laid everywhere in America and saying a lot more is happening here because of the big infrastructure law. I'm so thankful to all of the uh, steel workers leadership here for, among other things, helping us make the case to get this infrastructure bill done in the first place which is now yielding these benefits for workers every day. And with these two men on one stage, yes, I went there. But I can't help myself. Strikes me that I, I'm looking at two possible very early front runners for the 2028 Democratic nomination. And I'm not going to answer ask you a question I know you're not going to answer, but just wondering if you could talk about how what you're doing today matters for whatever everybody's future ambitions might be. All I can say is that any job I've ever had, I've known the most important thing is to do that job well. And uh, what we have right now is a moment on our hands where the president has asked our department to deliver uh, a level of investment that has not happened in my lifetime. Current President Biden in a tight re-election race this year, Buttigieg might have implied this, but Shapiro said it. If the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania or this country turns the keys over to Donald Trump, someone who wants to eviscerate those investments, you know what that means? It means a lack of health care for over a million people. It means we lose out on the prospects of tens of thousands of jobs that we know are going to come because of these investments. But PA Republican State Senator Wayne Langerholz, who chairs the Senate Transportation Committee, says Republicans are the ones who have the right ideas about transportation spending. There are a lot of different policies, a lot of different legislation, a lot of different bills that we have enacted as a Republican caucus to address those uh, critical infrastructure needs. And I think the key here is while ensuring fiscal responsibility. You know, we all want to spend money like it's going out of style, but the question is, can we sustain it? And that's the mission. And Senator, uh, or Secretary Buttigieg rather started his day in a different specific mid-state city talking about a different specific mode of transportation. We will have that part of the story, Valerie, coming up at 530. Thank you, Seth.